What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel today. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, my voice is still a little, you know, my throat is still... I still sound sick. I'm getting, I'm feeling better um, from my last video. If you watched it, I was really sick. Um, I've gotten a little bit better since then. Um, but today I'm going to try out the 1212 get 1212 gateway gateway skincare. I am so excited because I absolutely love. So if you don't know the owner of this brand, it's um, Catherine McBroom um, or Catherine Pies. If you know the Ace family, a lot of people have mixed opinions about them, um, but I absolutely love them, and that's actually their act. They're actually the reason why I started my YouTube channel because I started watching them like years ago. I want to say like 2016. I've been watching them for years. Well, anyway, Catherine, I love her soul, like her being just the way she is and everything. And um, when I saw that she came out with this um, skincare brand, I wanted to try it out. I have my set skincare routine, like I have. If y'all have been following me for a long time, I'll, I'll talk about NXN. This is the, the brand that I personally use that really honestly has helped me out a lot. And if you want to try them out, I actually have a link down below where you could get a discount off on your first order. It's not sponsored. It's just um, a link if you want to support. But I was super, super curious to try out this brand. I am not sponsored by this brand at all whatsoever. That'd be cool though. Um, I just want to try it out and see because I'm very, I'm always looking into finding new eye creams, moisturizers, things like that. This is how it looks open. This is Catherine right here. I'm like fangirling. I look like this for a reason. I took off all my makeup. I'm wearing glasses because I'm going to wash my face and I don't want to have my contacts on. I look like a boy. Um, it's it right here. I got the sample set so this isn't like the full size. This isn't the full entire size of how they are. This is just like the smaller version. Kind of like a travel set, sample. What was the sample set? Um, it has the cleanser. So this is the cleanser. Oh, they're heavy. This is my first impression. So I haven't like taken out yet. Taken it out yet. So this is the cleanser. Okay. This is the beauty oil. I've been dying to try this. The beauty oil, you just put this on your body, it kind of just, you know, moisturizes and gives shine to your body. The eye cream, I am obsessed with eye creams. I want to do an updated nighttime routine because I've tried a lot of eye creams out. And um, for me, I when I first started my skincare routine, like I wasn't, I didn't know what I was doing. And I honestly, I still don't, but I think it's super important to moisturize and take care of your body inside and out. Um, because it's going to, the way you feel on the inside will reflect on the outside and how you look on the outside can affect how you feel on the inside. So just, you know, you need your balance and I think it's super important to take care of yourself. Um, it's never too late. You could always start off. It's never too early either. I always thought like, why would I, like, I'm like, what, 18 years old? Like, I, I feel weird putting on anti-aging creams on, eye creams. Like, I'm like, I haven't even you know grown yet you know so um but it's never too early and it's never too late i would recommend definitely starting now if you haven't already you know if you don't moisturize your skin your face especially your face um screen protector especially on your face that way it could prevent you from aging quicker you know things like that for guys too it's super important uh, but this is our eye cream i'm so excited to try this i'm gonna smell it it doesn't really have a scent to it, I don't think. It kind of does, but I can't... I can't put my finger on it, on what it would smell like. Um, oh, let me feel the, feel the thickness of it. I'm going to just grab a little bit. So it's not that thick, but it definitely, like once it's applied on the skin, you feel it there. Huh, I like it. I like it. It's a good consistency. It's not too thick, but you feel it that it's there. Um, this is the moisturizer, I believe. Yes, this is a face moisturizer, not just like a hand cream. Um, let me smell this. 
It's a little bit more yellowy than the eye cream. It smells amazing. <clears throat> so that's the moisturizer. This is the beauty oil right here. I don't know if I already saw it. Sunray. I don't know if this has SPF. I would assume so. Let me try it out right now. It's very liquidy. Of course, it's an oil. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try it on. Let's see. Can you see? So it's a little... It's not sticky, but you definitely feel it there. Oh, but this makes your skin look beautiful. Okay, don't mind my ugly boy hands, but that made my my hands look. <gasps> oh, that looks gorgeous. And like once it's rubbed in, it just makes you look glowy. Oh, I don't know if you can really tell. Oh, this is like bad lighting. I'm so sorry, you guys. This one doesn't have anything, and this one does, and you can just see how like it glows compared to this one. I don't know, it just looks... I don't know if you can even tell. It definitely makes your skin look healthier, for sure. It makes it look glowy. I do feel moisturized. Oh, it has a nice scent to it. It kind of reminds me like of an Argan, Argan Moroccan oil scent. It smells, it smells amazing. But yeah, it's not. It doesn't feel sticky. It's just you, I feel it like that. It's there. Like it's very like comforting in a way. Um, so I'm excited to try that. Um, and then last but not least, I already showed the eye cream. Oh, the lip balm. So I actually have. Hold on, let me bring it. I actually have the lip balm. Remember, she first launched her skincare. This is the only thing I was able to get my hands on. No, I'm just kidding. I still had a chance to get other stuff. I was very skeptical. I was like, I kind of want to get the sample set, but the sample set sold out so fast that I couldn't get my hands on it the first time. So I just got the lip balm. So this is the full size of the lip balm and it's huge. Oh, oh geez. It's huge. I love it because it's so, it's big. It's only like the little cheap chapsticks. And to be honest, I don't really use chapsticks that much. You see how like I've used it a lot. There's plenty in there, like there is enough, it's gonna last a long time. And it's like heavy, like it feels like good quality. Well, it is good quality, of course. But honestly, I don't really use chopsticks because to me, I just feel like they make you, like it makes your lips more chapped so that we can keep using these. You know what I mean? Because honestly, I wouldn't really use it and like I never had problems with chapped lips. Um, but I don't have a problem with this one, so I like this one. This is the full size. This is the full size, and then this is the sample size. So it's... Uh, so where the lid stops. So if you get this one, like the full thing, just imagine this entire thing being the actual size plus the lid. But... It's so cute, and it doesn't have like a strong scent to it, it's just very like low-key. I like it, and it doesn't feel thick, so I love it, and I'm excited. I'm going to put this in my car for sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face with it. I'm going to use this for about a week just to kind of see like how my skin improves. I don't think you can actually see results until like about two weeks. Um, but I'll use it for a week, I'll take pictures, and I'll use it for another week, and then take pictures and see, like, if I see a difference, because I'm always up to, like, trying new things out, so let's see if it works. This is my skin right now. Wait, let me take off my glasses. Ooh, I can't see. So this is my skin right now. I do break out a lot on my chin area whenever I'm about, like, TMI, but when I'm about to start my period... I'll like break out in this area and then on my neck since hence that right there it's not a hickey i promise but it's my skin right now um i don't really break out as much as i used to but i do have combination skin i get oily on my t-zone and then i'm super dry around my cheek area and right now i feel like i'm more on the dry side except for my nose my nose is always super oily so my goal is I kind of just want like my skin to look glowier, like healthier, more hydrated. 
because I am hydrated. I drink so much water every single day, but I want my skin to reflect that. Kind of like with hers. I'm sure this was like photoshopped and stuff, but you see how like glowy she is? Like that's what I want. You know, of course, like I can achieve that with like my O's and stuff. But I want it like to just glow naturally, you know, without even using um, all my moisturizers. But I don't have anything on right now, so I'm just washing my face. And then try it out and take off my glasses again. I can't see though. So this is heavy. This is really heavy. I can't imagine how heavy the actual size might must be, but I'm gonna squeeze it out. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. So I did watch this um guy that is like a dermatologist or I don't know, he he like reviews um, skincares, like people's skincare routines and he goes over the ingredients of what's good and bad. And he did a review on this one and he says that they um, they do use a lot of like ro rose oil, so that's what this smells like. Like straight up rose petals, it smells amazing. Oh, that smells so good. Ooh, that's a scent you'll never get tired of. That smells so good. That smells like straight up rose petals. I did not know it was gonna smell that strong. I'll put a little bit more. Usually I use this thing to wash my face. My little gun for manually planning. Um, it just makes it easier. I'm gonna just try this with my hands today and then I'll use the, the little gun for the rest of the week. But, oh, that smells Oh wait, I should probably put my hair up. I didn't think about that. That smells so good. Oh my gosh. It's not super foamy either. I want to wash my face again just because it, it smells so good. To dry my face, I use these reusable, because I was using so many of these cotton things. Like so, so many. And I still use them to remove my makeup, but to save the environment, these are these reusable little cotton pads to just dry your face. Wipe off any excess. Mm, I don't rub my face, I dab the water off. That's very important too. You don't want to stretch out your skin. You want to look young. Well, at least I do for as long as possible. Um, I'm like 12 years old, but I'm 22. But whenever I get older, everyone's like, I want to look like JLo when I'm 50. Of course, she's had help, but you know, you get the idea. So you pat your face and then I put them in this little, it's so cute, it comes with like this little laundry bag and I put them in there and I just rewash them. Um, of course, if I have my makeup, I use makeup wipes still, uh, but I use these a lot because I, I was using a lot of those cotton things and I just throw them away and then it's bad for the environment. So, oh, if you want to check it out, it's, um, if you want to check those out, they're under my Amazon storefront link under skincare, so if you want to try those out i love it so i love the cleanser oh i'm so excited i'm gonna moisturize now this you could put on your face and your neck it's super important to moisturize your neck too because that's like the second thing everybody sees and i used to have it, it was worse it's actually got better um i started moisturizing my neck about a little a little over a year ago because i started noticing these lines and I was like, man, like, are those age marks? Like, I'm, like, 20 years old. But I started moisturizing, and it's actually gone away, but really just any moisturizer. As long as you moisturize it, there are specific neck creams for that. And I'll show y'all on my nighttime routine which one I use. Um, but 
it's helped a lot but it's very important to moisturize your face your neck your chest um because those age really fast as well so and that's something like not a lot of people like think about people barely moisturize their face let alone your neck and chest so Ooh, it's so soft i don't know oh and always rub up i always rub up and then i do my neck like this give you that snatched jawline i don't know if that actually even does anything but i know it massages it and it like gets your blood going blood flowing up um, what was I going to say? I don't know if you could actually use this as a primer for your makeup. I'm actually going to do my makeup right now um, after this video. So I'm going to try it out and test it and see if it goes well with makeup. I don't know if you can use it as a primer. Um, I don't see why not though. It's a moisturizer. so I feel so good. It's thick. It's really thick. You definitely feel it there. If you like more like of a thinner feel that you don't want like you don't want your face to feel like it has something on there then maybe this isn't for you but if you feel like it's actually if you want it to feel like it's actually there and it's doing something then i would recommend it uh i'm gonna put some more lip balm on because i think i just wiped it off and then what's next oh the beauty oil so the beauty oil mm, i'll put them I'll put it on my arms and then after, later I'll put it like all over my body and just kind of save them. I put it all over my hands and it, oh wow, ooh, we gotta be careful when you put this on. It def, it's definitely runny. Oh, that makes your skin look amazing. Imagine this. I always see her like putting this on it like at the beach or outside by the pool and it just reflects your skin beautifully. So, I can definitely see that. That is so pretty. It just makes your skin look healthier and glowy. So, I like it. I like everything. Um, I'm going to try it for a week and then test it out and see if I get any results from it. Hopefully, I do and I'll let y'all know. Let me see. Definitely your elbows. I used to not moisturize my, elbow my elbows. Can you believe that? It's very important to moisturize everywhere. And then I know this is bad lighting. Oh, the eye cream! I'm missing the eye cream. Okay, I'm gonna put the eye cream. That's how my skin's looking right now, though. So, okay, so with eye creams. I don't know if there's like a right way to put it on, but I always use my ring finger. I heard that's because it's your most gentle finger. And under your eyes, it's like the most sensitive area of your face. I like grabbing a lot. I'm one of those people I just, I'd rather overdo it than I'll have enough. <laughs> but what I do, I grab my ring fingers. And then I'll like go like that. I'll go on top as well. And then I'll even bring it down if I have too much. I'll bring it down to my smile lines. Whatever's left. And then I just drag it out all the way up to here. I love doing this. It's like a massage. And then I'll pat the rest in. I'm just being extra, but this is what I do. This is how I do it. And then if I have even more, I'll just put it on my forehead. Because it could be helping my forehead lines, you know. I don't know if it actually is, but I like to think. And yeah. Mm. I feel good. I don't look good because I don't make it, but... This is how my skin looks. So, day one of using this. Hopefully, in a week or two, it actually improves. I want to look glowier, like like this. So maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see. 
This is how my skin looks right now. This is a scar that I've had. Let's see if it gets rid of that. I've been trying to get rid of that. I had this back a few, couple months ago and I picked at it really, really bad and that was my fault and then left that scar. So I wonder if I'll take that off. I do have under bad guys. Not as bad as I used to, but yeah, this is how my skin looks now. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated in about a week or two. Let me know down below if y'all ever tried these before, if you want to try it. And yeah, I'll let y'all know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.